As we head into the final week in Sochi, some sports were already finished, but one that's only beginning is bobsledding. And as Elliot Polikoff reports, that means a whole lot of nostalgia for one Palmer College doctor. In the U.S., no one grows up to be a bobsledder. Dave Juring definitely didn't. The very first time I ever went down a bobsled was actually in a competition because somebody's brakeman got hurt. I'd never run on the ice. I had never hopped in the sled. I'd never even been in the sled. Dave never participated in the Olympics as a bobsledder, but his experience on the U.S. national bobsled team allowed him to become a coach for the Olympic team during the 1994 Olympics in Norway. He then continued to stay involved with the team for the following two Olympics. The first Olympics is always a neat experience, and the biggest challenge that you deal with is it's a neat experience and it can be overwhelming. It's especially overwhelming when your country has gone five decades without winning a medal in the sport. Dave and the U.S. men's team weren't able to change that in Norway and fell one hundredth of a second short of a bronze in Nagano in 1998. So for Dave and the rest of the U.S. team, the 2002 Winter Olympics in Salt Lake City were about one thing and one thing only. When we went to 2002, um, everybody that was there was hungry for the medals. It wasn't the fact that we were at the games, we just wanted an Olympic medal. Lucky for Dave, the third time was the charm, as the U.S. won silver and bronze in the four-man bobsled. It was so nice to win those medals, but it was so refreshing to just say, finally. Even the, the, uh, the Germans that had won the gold, they were happy for us, their competitors, that we had finally broken that streak. Watching clips of past Olympics he was a part of certainly brings back a lot of memories for Dave. But after three Olympics, he was ready to move on from the fun but crazy lifestyle. So as this year's team goes for gold, Dave isn't anywhere near Sochi. Sometimes I get a little melancholy because it would be neat to be there, but then I'm reminded of all of the challenges that go through that process, and I enjoy watching them from home. But if another brake man happens to get hurt, you know who to contact, U.S. bobsled team. Elliot Polikoff, CBS4 Sports. Elliot, thank you. Dave says he is still a big Olympics junkie and follows the current men's and women's bobsled teams very closely.